Hello and welcome to Hulri. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a book library like this in Notion, where you can have your all of the books that you have read and some notes over here. So then uh, in the future, if you want to refer to something that you've read and you have noted down, uh, you can come over here, you can click, which will open up this page and you can have a, like takeaways from the book, um, highlights if you want, and anything that you want to note down over here and it can serve as a central repository uh, for your knowledge base um, and it's pretty, pretty easy to achieve with notion uh, let's see how so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new page as soon as you uh, on the new page we're going to create a gallery so let's name our gallery books we're going to uh, choose a nice cover for it uh, let's see this book icon it looks good so no, as you can see that uh, Notion has created a couple of template cards for us. Uh, we don't need this. So what you're gonna do is select all of these and delete. So now that we have cleared our desk, let's get to work. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna create a new card and we're gonna name the book that you have read. So Atomic Habits. This is one of the very nice books that I've read and I really recommend to everyone. So as you can see that uh, there are a couple of attributes over here one of them is created and the other one is tags so we're gonna leave the tags in the created for now uh, so we're gonna get started with the tags so in the tags I can use it as a genre for the book I'm gonna type self improvement yes and so now that I have the tag added I'm gonna create another property which is the cover I'm gonna choose the property type as files and media and here I'm gonna select a cover photo. So I have previously downloaded some cover photos uh, from Goodreads and you can do it uh, as well. Uh, whenever you're adding a book, just search for that book name and Goodreads. You will land up in the Goodreads page and then you can uh, download the photo of the cover from the Goodreads page. So I'm gonna select Atomic Habits. It's uploading. Okay, so you have a cover ho over here. Now we're going to add another property which is author and I'm going to leave it as text because it's just plain text so I'm going to write James clear over here okay sounds good now we're going to add another attribute over here uh, which is ratings now although it might uh, seem like a very special property but uh, we're going to leave it at text and uh, we're going to apply some trick for it so if you're on a Macintosh uh, we are gonna bring up the emoji panel and we are gonna choose star so now that we have one star but I want to give this book five star so we are gonna copy this we're gonna paste 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 so now we have five stars over here and as I said that you can write your own key takeaways over here so let's say I want to write some points that I remember from this book one person improvement every day habit bundling and more like that so you can keep on adding uh, takeaways over here and um, you you can come back and refer to this so now that you've created uh, one entry uh, for one of the books that you've read uh, let's go and create another one but before that i'm gonna show you how to customize the uh, layout over here so right now you can see that uh, the grid layout uh, shows each item as the page snapshot over here and not much information that you have already added like author name and ratings like that so we're gonna bring all of those over here uh, let's move on to properties and turn on whatever attributes uh, that you want to show over here so we want author so we have author over here now we also want the tag so we have uh, self-improvement over here and we also want the ratings to show up so there you go uh, we have the ratings as well and uh, what you're gonna do is uh, for the thumbnail we want the book cover so right now the card preview is set to page content we're gonna change that to cover and as you can see the cover shows up over here but it's not quite the right aspect ratio that you'd like so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do fit image and there you go we have a nice book entry over here uh, which seems uh, 
fantastic and we're gonna create another book entry so in the new page you can see that all of these attributes are already over there we don't need to add them every time we create a new book this is required only for the first time that you're creating a new entry so this time i'm gonna uh, add another book called think and grow rich so i'm gonna select the tag as money i'm gonna select the cover so as uh, before i have uh, already downloaded the cover from goodreads i'm gonna select this so it's being uploaded and now it's uploaded so i'm gonna select the author name uh, which is napoleon hill and for rating i'm going to give this book a rating of four stars so since you have previously uh, select uh, copied the star emoji uh, uh, from the emoji panel we can just hit control v command v command v command v and there you go um, so we have four stars over here when you go back we can see that uh, all of these uh, books are already recorded and you can keep on creating new books over here as you'd like so that was it and it's uh, pretty easy and simple to uh, create a book library with notion and i hope that you like this tutorial uh, give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and see you next time